one to Daisy is about. When you get hurt in front of him, but you can't do anything about it. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Let's get going. Bakugo and you were walking in the middle of the night. Just, you know, hanging out together. Until he heard you scream. He was walking faster than you. And so, he turned around and then saw you. You were on the ground. Nobody was there next to you, even. What happened? And then he ran to you, first checking if anyone was there close to him. And when there was no one, he quickly checked your pearls. Were you okay? What happened to you, exactly? And then he heard the noise from behind him. As soon as he turned around to look, he was hit on his head making him pass out. When he woke up again, the second time, you were in the room, but you were not awake. And then when he looked clearly at you, he saw that you were hurt. You were injured. And he didn't... He didn't help you. He couldn't help you. He was just tied up. And he even had a gag on. What was he supposed to do? He couldn't even activate his quirk. Oh god. He couldn't help you. You were hurting. You were getting hurt because of him. And still, all he could do was watch you. As you bled. Well, he tried to say, but it was muffled because of the piece of clothes that was in his mouth. Oh, you woke up already? This bitch hasn't woken up since we... We took them in that room. Bakugo tried to move and scream, but everything held him back. Please, just don't hurt them. Hurt me instead. He was thinking. They shouldn't hurt you. Why? Why were they hurting you and not him? Just why? So, sir, what exactly are we going to do with them? The guy in front of him was talking on the phone. Leave the guy inside and take this bitch to our room. Of course, sir. I'll be right there. And then he carried you while Bakugo was trying to sound even louder, but he just couldn't. Oh, God. He never felt so helpless before. You were getting dragged, and you were probably going to get hurt after. But all he could do was watch you as you get hurt. No, he couldn't just leave you like that, could he? No, this was not Bakugo. This was not what he usually does. All he usually does was help you and make you feel protected. That was all he wanted. He wanted you to be safe, to be away from all the bad things in the world. But all he could do now was watch you as you were bleeding and getting hurt. And he couldn't even do anything about it. But then he thought, maybe the heroes were finding you soon. Maybe they were searching for you. Maybe they were coming here soon and they were going to take you. Maybe your friends were finding you too. Maybe... Maybe you were just going to be okay in the end, with him. But oh, he just could never forgive himself for this. Ever. You were still not okay, after all. He decided that he was going to talk with the guy when he came back. And so he tried his hardest to make the gag fall out of his mouth, trying to pull it, but his hands were not reaching. Until he sticked his tongue out and moved it with it. Oh, so now he can talk. But he'd rather not scream, so it goes back in. He wanted to talk. He wanted to make sure that you're okay. And then he began hearing screams. Oh, those were your screams. You were getting hurt again because of him. Ah, oh, shit. What are they?
they returning? It had been like an hour or something, but they were not returning yet. And then, your scream stopped. Maybe... Maybe they were coming back with you? Or did you pass out? No, they were probably coming back, right? It's already late enough. And then the cell door opened. And then they threw you inside. And then they heard him scream. Please, please just hear me out. How did you... Sorry. Okay, I apologize. But I just want you to, to listen to me right now. Why can't you hurt me instead? Sorry, but I guess we can't do that. Well, we just have to watch you suffer. That's way better than hurting you. Oh, so they knew how exactly to hurt him. That's exactly what they were planning on. Bitches. What did you just say? Nothing, just go out. He still didn't want the thing on his mouth again. He wanted to talk to you, to be able to hear your voice again, but not when you're screaming. Wyan, Wyan, respond. Please. I'm okay. Don't worry about me. How can I not worry, Wyan? You're bleeding, okay? Don't tell me not to worry. I can never stop doing that. Now please just tell me you're okay. Please. I'm okay. Don't worry, love. I'm going to be just fine. And maybe they're coming soon. I feel it. He nodded slowly at you, before muttering goodnight. And sleeping. The next day, he woke up to your screams again. But then, it was almost like the end of it, or something. But then he heard... A big shout, and a lot of noises coming from outside. But one of the most important voices that he heard was All Might's. Thank you guys for listening. Hope you liked the video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. So, I went to my grandpa. Um, I went to my grandpa tonight, and I feel so sleepy. I could just throw myself on the the bed and then sleep. So my accent is like, is is between Arabic and English right now. It's mixed up. So yeah. Anyway, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Goodbye. Love you all so much. Take care of yourselves. Love you.